Hey, what's up everyone? Matthew Root here, uh, one of the co-founders of ATM Empire. I've uh, been in business for a little over four years now, um, you know, have a lot of experience with the ATM business. But in this little video, I just want to be talking about how to open up your bank accounts. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask a specific question. It's nothing new. Every time I get on board or, or on board a new merchant, their first question is, hey, I went to my bank and they don't accept the ATM business. Or, hey, is there any particular bank account I need? So I'm just making this video to help anyone out there that is looking to get into the business or is in the business and their account just got shut down because that happened to me about two and a half years ago. I was at Wells Fargo, everything was going great. And then one day I get a letter. That letter said I have to get my accounts and shut them down, take out all the money and basically move banks. Um, so that kind of came with a surprise, but regulations have gotten stricter, especially after some of the banking scandals that have happened. So this video is simply made to help you find the right bank account. So with that being said, first off, uh, the ATM business is technically classified as a vending business, but even if you go into a bank and you tell them that, hey, I'm doing a vending business, and for some reason they find out it is an actual, it's an ATM business, um, it, they, they could still shut you down, okay? It really comes down to that branch manager, how much risk that they want to take on. So I know that Regions Bank, I know that they accept the ATM business. I know some other banks do. Um, some banks charge you a higher monthly fee for being in the ATM business because it's more risky on their end. That's what they say. Personally, I use Bank of America. Now, Bank of America, they will not accept anyone. They, like The ATM business is on a light red um, that's like the category. So basically like in businesses, there's, um, you know, green, which is obviously, yeah, anyone can open up the account, any type of business. And there's yellow, which is like, oh, uh, it's not, you know, ideal, but we'll let it go through. And then there's light red, dark red, and there's like black, which is like, no, you can't open up a business here. So uh, the ATM business falls under the light red category at Bank of America. How do I know this? I have a really good relationship with my banker and he just told me this. So what it comes down to is this, it comes down to your business banking relationship. So the relationship you have with your banker, that's gonna determine how successful you are at getting these accounts open or not. So what I did, I have a really good relationship with my banker. And I told him what I was doing, I was like, hey, I'm switching my accounts over here to Bank of America, because uh, Wells Fargo shut us down, and all that stuff, and uh, he approved it. So the branch manager has to actually sign off on it. Now understand this, the way that banks work is any, like banks are rated, like each branch is rated based off how many overdrawn fees they have, um, or overdraft fees they have, how many overdraft fees they re reimburse, all that sorts of things. Like all those little things that you get charged for, um, those look bad for that specific branch. So if you're gonna try to get a bank account there, you need to one, have a relationship built with that banker because they're not, if you just walk into a random bank, they're usually not gonna let you open up an account because the branch manager is actually taking risk on risk. I mean, if they are, if their branch all of a sudden has a bunch of, you know, bad marks on it or things that have went wrong from people mismanaging their accounts, at the end of the day, it falls back on them. So you want to use, you know, what you learn and how to win friends and influence people and really just build that relationship. You know, you want to be a trusted person to them. They want to trust you. Uh, you want to be excited about your business, you know, because if you walk into a bank, and you know, you go to open a business bank account and they ask, you know, hey, what does your business do? And you just say consulting, or you just say marketing, nine times out of 10, they're not gonna let you open up that account because that's a red flag because you've been so, you know, you didn't explain to them what they were doing. But if you walk in and you, you act like that excited new business owner, which that's what they expect. Understand, you're just playing to their human needs. They, they, they expect you to be excited about your business. They expect you to share it with them. So walk in, you know, be excited about your ATM business. Tell them what you're doing. Um, build that relationship. That is the most important thing. Because at the end of the day, it, it all comes down to them signing off on you or not. So you want to build that relationship. You want to build trust, respect, and rapport with that banker. And two, I mean, it's just a good business practice to have a great relationship with your banker. It's going to make everything easier. It's going to make your operations run more smoothly. And if you ever have any issues or you need advice, they have your back. So build that relationship with your banker, and then you can go and open up those accounts. You can also look and see what banks um, automatically will approve those accounts. I know for a fact Regions Banks do. Uh, I, I, I refer a lot of people to Regions Banks. If you want to do Bank of America and you don't have a relationship built with your business banker, um, that's fine. Leave a comment below uh, or reach out to me. You can find me at atmempire.biz or we have a Facebook page, uh, ATM Empire Group, and reach out to us. And what I'll actually do is I will get my banker 
to email the branch manager, whatever branch of Bank of America you're at, and that way you can get your account signed on. I already talked about this. I've done this for dozens and dozens of people. Uh, it works well, kind of gets you into the door. That way you already have a connection there. So with that being said, do not get frustrated. This is just one little hurdle you have to go through when getting your ATM business started. Get the account set up. Don't let that slow you down. And uh, get the ATM business rolling. I mean, go out there and get your first couple of locations. I mean, it's a great business. I've been doing it for over four years. Very predictable, reliable, passive income, which is pretty rare nowadays. And it doesn't take that much money to get started. So guys, with that being said, hopefully this little, you know, six minute rant about ATM bank accounts has helped out. Again, leave a comment below, like this video if it helped out, I'd really appreciate it. And I'm going to leave some resources in the description, so feel free to use those, take them, and um, if they bring you value, great. And with that being said, I will see you in the future videos.